On July 5th, there's a new moon in Cancer. This new moon is approaching a trine to Saturn, which is going to make a perfect sextile to Mars. This aspect is about setting priorities, even though that may require sacrifices. What does that mean for you? That's what we're going to talk about. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your Practical Astrologer, and today we are talking about the new moon. It's on July 5th. It's at 14 degrees of Cancer. We're going to do a short overview and then we're going to go sign by sign. The new moon in Cancer is moving to make a trine to Saturn and a sextile to Mars. And so first the energy of Cancer is about loving and nurturing and we often see it as that classic uh, mother-child relationship. But Cancer also is the love that we have for our family, friends, our community, even our country. And so it speaks to what, what the bigger why is of, of why we are going to do something. And then when we add in this sextile between Saturn and Mars, we get the plan and the action. So a sextile is different than a trine. Um, and we're going to talk about both of those. But the energy of a sextile is that your friend needs a wedding cake. And so you call up the bakery, you order the cake, you drive over to the bakery, you pick up the cake, you know, you pay for it. Uh, they help you load it into the car, you get it to the wedding. It's perfect. So the sextile energy is you take an action and things work out. Now the downside of a sextile is if you don't call the bakery, the cake is not ordered. Or if you don't go to pick up the, the cake, then you don't have the cake. Or if you... <laughs> instead take the cake home and eat it yourself and don't take it to the wedding then your friend is unhappy so in each of the steps you have to take an action to make something work now let's contrast that with the trine energy and that's from the new moon to saturn and that trine energy is your friend needs a wedding cake you call up the bakery and they say Congratulations, you're our one millionth customer, or the cake is free, we'll deliver it for free. That's all you needed to do. And so again, still some action was needed. If you didn't call the bakery, you would not have won the free cake. But the once you start the action with the trine, then everything happens rather automatically. So here we have new moon energy, which is speaking to what is it that you love and what is it that you care about, making a trine to Saturn, which is about creating a structure or a plan, and then a sextile to Mars, which is then go implement the plan. So one of my favorite books on understanding sextiles, which I think is actually called Understanding Sextiles, <laughs> is by Alan Epstein. And he talks about the sextile between Mars and Saturn as this time where you are setting priorities and making sacrifices. And of course, once we set a priority, the sacrifice is that we can't do everything. So all the things that are not a priority fall to the wayside. So you may have a long list of things that you wish to do. You know, it's, there's <laughs> such a long list of things that I want to do. But as I get older, I I'm realizing that I'm not going to be able to do everything. And so I'm setting priorities, which means I have to sacrifice some of those other things. So what's important is not to focus on the sacrifice part of this, because with this trying to Saturn, we are able to make a good solid plan. And with the sextile to Mars, then we're able to implement that plan because Mars gives us the energy to do so. And as we get the things done, then we can move on to the next set of priorities. Now, while a Mars sextile Saturn is quite good, Epstein does give one caveat, and that is that we can get tired. So in this two week period, when we're using this energy, if, if you need a nap, take a nap. If you need to go to bed early, you know, do so. Understand that all of this exertion of energy of, you know, phoning the bakery and driving over there and, and getting this into the car and getting it to the wedding on time, all of that exertion comes with the downside of getting tired. So overall, this new moon is really good energy for setting a plan and putting it into motion. And so you have an opportunity to achieve a goal over this next two weeks. 
Now in this video we are doing tropical western astrology. It's a good idea to listen to your rising sign to get the most accurate predictions. If you don't know your rising sign, I can send you a PDF of your chart. There's a link in the description. And by the way, the PDF that I send has a lot of other information you might be very interested in. It lists all the aspects that you have in your chart. It also lists declination, moon speed. Uh, there's a, a little graph of the elements and things like that. I guess it's not a graph. It's more of a table. <laughs> and if you would like to know more about what's in store for you over this uh, year and the next year, I do readings. There's a link in the description. And then if you have been studying astrology and you're interested in personal finance, I have a video course. It's called Finding the Hidden Money in Your Chart. This course is designed for people who are beginning to study astrology and who want the basics of looking at the second house, uh, eighth house, and eleventh house in detail. Okay, let's go sign by sign. Okay, Aries, uh, you are doing this new moon right at the base of your chart. This is the area of home and family. And so the bigger why right now is, you know, how can you make your family happier? How can you buy a home? How can you renovate the home you have? Is this the right home? Should you move to another place, like another city, another country? And this is making a trine to Saturn, which is the plan. And that Saturn is in the hidden house. So this says withdraw, you know, go make a plan by yourself that you're later going to present to the family. So that is you think things through and you co-create with the universe. And how you do that is you ask the question of the universe and say, hey universe, you know, like how can I figure out what country to live in or what city to live in or if I should move? And then you give it a day or two and then see what the universe sends in the way of answers. And it could be that you wake from a dream and you know, or someone randomly comes and says, hey, you know, have you checked out Guam? You know, or you uh, come across something on a podcast or a video. And then it's a sextile to Mars in your house of money. And so therefore, then you say, all right, what do I need to do? What kind of action do I need to take to gather the resources necessary to create what I want for the family. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, the sun is making a sextile to Mars. And so that is really good energy. And now because of the opening, now you understand what a sextile is. You have to take some sort of action and then good things happen. But this is very good energy for meeting someone new. And then when it comes to existing love relationships, Venus is making a sextile to Mars. And so you have again, that lovely sextile energy that says, take an action and then things can go smoothly. And so if you want to sit down and talk with your partner, you have that opportunity. If you want to do something together, you have that opportunity. So with an existing love relationship, you're taking the action. You take the first step and then things can go smoothly. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from Venus, which is in Cancer, which is about what is that deeper reason uh, that you're doing all of the work you're doing? What is it just to pay the bills or is there a bigger mission to create some sort of family or a home or a home base for yourself if you travel a lot? It, this is to find that bigger why as the motivating factor for doing the hard work of creating abundance. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, even though Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto, it is making that sextile to Mars. So you have an opportunity to make more money than usual. This is, again, it's a sextile. So you take an action, maybe checking your accounts, maybe moving money around, maybe doing something in your business, and that gets a positive response. So you have really good energy over this next two weeks. And then when it comes to money derived from career, so that's like a paycheck, Venus is making a sextile to Uranus. So I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but you have an opportunity to get a raise uh, to, if you're looking for a new job, to get more money than you have at your current job. Uh, you have opportunities to get perks. So this is a great time to sit down with your employer and uh, hash out you know, what it is that you do and what you should be making. Okay, Taurus, 
you're doing this new moon and this new energy in your area of ideas and thinking process. And so this is where you have an idea, you have an inspiration. And then the trying to Saturn says, go talk with your friends, with your community and see what they think of your idea. You know, uh, ask a few friends if they think this is a good idea. Would they go tell others about this idea? Do they think that this is going to work? And when you get that feedback, then you can do that sextile to Mars and actually put yourself out there and do the work. So this is not a time to be in the background working on something and not talking to anybody about it, uh, but go to some trusted friends or connections and, you know, kind of test market the idea see if they would go and spread the word about it if they would and they don't have to until you're done you know i i get it but if they would be willing to do that then it's worth putting yourself out there and doing the work now when it comes to love relationships specifically new love uh mercury's not making an aspect with venus they they are not connected this time and so it it's probable that your mind is elsewhere or that you are, you know, you're in one spot and the person that you're supposed to meet, they're somewhere else. So since the energy is not lining up, it makes it rather difficult to connect. And this energy will line up in the future. So over this next two weeks, this is something that you may just want to put on hold. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, it's an entirely different story. Uh, while Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto, it's making a lovely sextile to Mars. And so you have an opportunity to work something out. And that means you start the process and then it can flow. So if you don't start the process, then nothing's happening. But if you will start it, then you can get some positive results probably more than some positive results. You can get positive results. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from Mercury, which is making a very nice sextile to Jupiter in your house of money. So one of the things that you could consider is if you're feeling stuck in the area of money, you may want to think about what you would tell a sibling or a family member to do if they were in your shoes and then go do that thing. You know, sometimes we have to pull ourselves out of the situation and look at it from an objective perspective and then we can get that inspiration. And so this says to either, you know, think of what a sibling or a family member would do or go ask your family if you have, you know, someone who is very supportive of what you're doing to make suggestions and ask them not to sugarcoat them, ask them to do real suggestions for you and then take action on those. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, that sextile to Jupiter is in play. And so that means taking some sort of action leads to very positive results. So that could be working on your business, working on your investments. All of those will pay off this time. So work on those over the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to money uh, derived from a career, so that would be like a paycheck, Mercury is making an out of sign trying to Neptune, which means that you have really good energy, but you're going to have to initiate it in some way. And it may be somewhat of a surprise to your supervisor or uh, they may say this isn't really the time that we talk about it but once you start that conversation then they are amenable to it so this is very good energy for talking about a raise or negotiating for some more perks or things like that even though your supervisor may say oh i wasn't expecting to talk about this at this time okay gemini this new moon is in your house of money and that means that the bigger reason that you're doing something is to uh, have you know, financial security or to pay off debt or to you know, have money so that you can give it to your kids. And this is making a trying to Saturn and that is elevated in your chart. It's uh, in your house of career. And that would indicate that the, the plan is to do something in your career with your expertise, with your skills, 
to go and do this. And it's making a sextile to Mars in your house of spiritual actions, which is then once you have set up your plan, which might be that you want a promotion or to expand your business or to work in a different field, then go do the spiritual. And that's where you start to co-create with the universe. That's where you use prayer or meditation or affirmations or journaling uh, or feng shui to start that process. So that's the action that begins. It, it's less about writing out the resume, but more about pulling in that spiritual help before you send out the resume so that the resume is lit up and can reach the right people. So that's, that's where you put yourself in the spiritual mindset of of co-creating with the universe. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Mercury is not making an aspect with Venus. And so this is one of those occasions where it's not lining up. So it does make it difficult to meet someone new. In fact, because the South node is sitting there and it's been sitting there for a while, I don't want to say it's just this two week period, but it does indicate that maybe you need to let go of something from the past, maybe hurts from the past or someone from the past before you move on to a new relationship. So just in this two weeks, while you're not doing an aspect, maybe do a little bit of house cleaning in that area. And that can facilitate things when this aspect does line up in the future. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, it's an entirely different story. Mercury is making a lovely sextile to Jupiter. So you have such an opportunity to come together and strengthen the relationship to work out problems. You just need to take an action and that starts the process and that can all lead to a good conclusion. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from the moon, which is in your house of money. And sometimes that can cause some negative emotions around money. It can make money feel like it's unstable, that you know, the moon grows and shrinks every month. And so it can feel like that's happening with your money. But I do want to say that, you know, in, in most things, there is a way to take even that difficult energy and turn it into a positive. And that is the nervousness that you may have about finances this month could make you very motivated to go get more. And so while we want to generally motivate ourselves by something positive. If, if that's how you're feeling right now, it can still be extremely motivating to say to yourself, oh, you know what, you know, the world's an unstable place and I want to create some more stability. So I am going to find methods and, and avenues for making more money. And that's what this can bring. Now, in addition, of course, you also have the sun and Venus in that house. So, the setting yourself in motion when it comes to your money then leads automatically to the sun, which is an exact conjunction being a new moon, and then the Venus, which is the payday. So it is, don't think that you have to be in this totally positive mindset to go out and make what you want. Um, instead, use the tool that you have, which may be nervousness about money or a feeling that money is scarce to help you find avenues for making more money. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, uh, the moon's making a trying to Saturn. So that is you take the initial action and then things flow. So one of the things that is a problem with the moon in this placement for you is it can feel like you don't want to take an action, but because you're doing the trying, a single action gets things rolling. And so sometimes that's even just looking at your website for five minutes, opening up your statements and just meditating on those and picturing more money flowing into your accounts. Sometimes that's enough to get things going. And then when it comes to money derived from career, so that would be a paycheck, the moon's making that sextile to Mars. So there's an opportunity to get together with your supervisor and discuss how you could move forward. They're probably going to come back and say, Hey, we would like you to do this and this, or take on these additional responsibilities. And then you can say yes or no. So you can get that conversation going during this two week period. 
Okay, Cancer, this is your new moon, which starts your new lunar year, which means that the more new things that you do over this next month, the bigger your harvest will be in the future. And that's in months to come. So the the new things can be anything like, uh, you know, even small things like getting up at a different time, changing out what you have for breakfast, doing your exercise at night instead of the morning, going to a different grocery store, like every little thing, just try new things. And of course you can do new big things, big new things during this uh, four weeks as well. But this is a seed planting time for you. Now, this particular new moon is making that trying to Saturn. And so, uh, so you are then looking for how you can be closer maybe to family, friends, uh, that bigger why. What is, what is important to you? What do you love? What, what do you care about enough to protect and watch over and to help and support? And that is tied into your uh, personal philosophy, your beliefs. That is, you know, how you feel that the universe works. Uh, you know, is this a benefic universe? Is this a universe that's out to get us? Uh, it, are people generally good and kind? Or is everybody now, you know, in some sort of dystopian mindset? So this is looking at your personal philosophy and, and coming up with a structure based on that or making changes in your philosophy if it's not helpful to you. And then going and networking with the community and your friends, that's the Mars, and f from that building the team to help you. So you may say, okay, well, I want to put out more information into the world. Uh, then you go to your community and say, how do I do that? Or perhaps you say, I want to go learn something. I want to go back to school. You go to your community and you get information on how you might be able to do that. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, even though the moon's not making an aspect with Pluto, it's making that nice sextile to Mars. So that is an opportunity to meet someone new over this next two weeks. And it is likely that you would meet this person either through some sort of online dating or through your community of friends. And so that is the source of that. And then it's a sextile, so you take an action and then something happens. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, the energy is even better. Better. the moon is making a trine to Saturn. So the two of you are pretty harmonious right now. And if you need to work out something, you could bring it up, you start the action and then things flow quite nicely. And so this is a time if you have some things you have wanted to ask your partner to either change or do or something for the future, this is the time to ask. Now, when it comes to your money, you pull money from the sun and the sun is in your own sign. And that means you are the source of money. And that means not waiting for someone to pick you. If you've sent out resumes to people and you don't feel like your resumes are noticed or you're not getting the interviews, it's time to look elsewhere. It's time to stop waiting for a door to open and go either knock on other doors or go build a door yourself. So this is, this is a time to be active to say that you're in charge, you're the captain of your ship and not wait for other people to let you on board. Now, when it comes to money from business or investments, even though the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus, it is making that trine to Saturn. So you do have opportunities to make more money from these sources over this next two weeks. So of course, with the trine, you must initiate the action, you know, just like in the intro we talked about, you have to make the phone call. And so do something and that will get the ball rolling and then things could be quite smooth. Now, when it comes to money from career, so that's like a paycheck, the sun is just out of orb of that Venus, but the sun's on approach, but Venus is also moving away. So, so it's kind of like the sun is chasing Venus right now. And that might be what it feels like. Like you have to chase down your uh, supervisor that you have to, uh, you know, really make your case. And so it's quite, possible to get this to work is not the easiest of aspects. There will be good aspects in the future. So, but if you're up for a chase, this could be an exciting time. 
Okay, Leo, this new moon is in your house of spiritual connection, which means that the boundary between you and and the universe, God, everything is is very thin or it's it's gone right now. And that means you have access to all of that information, all of that knowledge, and you just need to ask. Now, this is making that trying to Saturn, which is in your area of resources. And so that is all of these different resources are now available to you. And that is, you know, where do I find this information? Who do I talk to? How do I get this thing to work? And then it's making the sextile to Mars at the top of your chart, which is about career and and how people see you, you know, how you're in the public eye. So this is uh, connected to the idea of, you know, maybe you feel called to do a different career. The Saturn gives you the resources and then Mars helps you implement that new career. Or this is um, Mars is giving you opportunities to be seen so that you can find the people to open the right doors for you. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, the sun is making a semi-sextile to Jupiter. A semi-sextile energy is a slightly irritating energy where there's some sort of friction that is causing you to not do the thing that you want to do. And so, and that is maybe you want to meet someone, but it's hard to leave the house or you want to meet someone, but you're a little bit nervous. So that little bit of friction is solved by identifying it and saying, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then, then it just kind of magically that friction just smooths out. And so, but that's the energy that you're doing at this time. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, even though the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus, it's making a nice trine with Saturn. So you have an opportunity to have a really harmonious time with your partner right now, to work things out, to have a shared goal. And so some of this is about sharing your vision and letting your partner share their vision and finding the common ground so that the two of you can work together. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from Mercury, which is now in your own sign of Leo. And that means that you are the source of money, that you no longer should be waiting for somebody else to pick you for the job or the opportunity or waiting for customers to choose your business. This is a time where if that door in front of you is not open to go knock on another door or to build a different door for yourself. So this is that you're in charge now. And so therefore, if, if there is nothing happening in the direction that you have been asking or sending a resume or something, it is to go knock on a different door. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, Mercury is making an out of sign trying to Neptune, which means that there's definitely money there, but the actions that you take seem unrelated to the results. So it, it's like, you do an ad which gets no actual hits, but you end up making more money anyway. And so it's just starting the process could bring you some unexpected results. Now, when it comes to money from uh, your career, so like a paycheck, Mercury's making a great sextile to Jupiter. And that means there is an opportunity now, uh, if you are looking for a raise, this is a time to get with your supervisor and talk about it. If you are applying for a new job, definitely ask for more money and negotiate for what you want. You have really good energy here if you take action. Okay, Virgo, you are doing this new moon in your area of the future of where you want to be one year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. And so one of the things to do with this new moon is to go out and talk to your future self. And this is making that trying to Saturn, which is in your house of relationships. So as you are having that conversation with your future self, then bring back that information and go talk to others and say, what do you think of this idea? That leads to the Mars in your house of education. And so therefore you either get pointed to the right class or that person teaches you what you need to know. And so that loop that you're doing is what propels you to the future. Now, this is also about how to network and you know what technology to use, all of those questions. But ultimately, the bigger why that you're going to get is by talking to your future self and saying, you know, what am I doing? 
and how did I get here? How did I, how did I get successful? How, how did I achieve these goals? And that from there then leads to other people and more knowledge. Now, when it comes to a love relationship, specifically new love, Mercury's not making an aspect with Saturn. And so right now, there's a little bit of a disconnect between you and love relationships. And so even if someone's asking you out, you may not notice. So this is a time to focus on other things and just let love relationships be for the next two weeks. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, it's an entirely different story. Mercury is making an out of sign trying to Neptune, which means that the two of you have more harmony, but it's coming at unexpected times or in unexpected situations. So you might do something and it really delights your partner or vice versa, and you didn't know that. And so you're learning about each other, but this is a really positive time where you can learn more about each other by you know just doing the things you normally do but noticing you're noticing each other more now when it comes to your money you're pulling money from venus that is in that area of community and so this is if you are looking to sell something or to make some money through a new job this is thinking about what people want to buy. You know, I, I was thinking about this earlier, such uh, because I know a lot of Reiki practitioners, and Reiki is a really powerful modality for healing. But people generally don't want to buy a Reiki session. What they want to trade their money for is healing. And so sometimes we need to explain what it is that we're doing so that we can reach the customer. So this is a, a definite focus on what the community is looking for rather than what you specifically want to sell. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, Venus is making a great sextile to Mars. So you have opportunities to make more money over this next two weeks by taking action and then following that up with another action and then another action. So you take consistent action and that leads to the money. Just like we were talking about in the intro, this is your, your method of getting money during this time. Now, when it comes to money from your career, so that would be like a paycheck, uh, even though the moon's not making an aspect with Venus, and they are in this house. And so that means that there is a real opportunity, plus the fact that the moon is going to catch Venus and nothing can outrun the moon. And so even though it's not lined up right now, planting that seed now could lead to some really positive results. The results are just probably gonna come outside this two week period. Okay, Libra, this Cancer Moon is right at the top of your chart, which makes you more noticeable, which highlights your career, highlights your reputation. And so your bigger why may be around your personal mission out there in the world. And this is making a trying to Saturn in your house of daily routines and how you how you manage to be productive with all the other things that you have going. And then this makes that sextile to Mars in your house of resources. And so this is very much about looking at what it is you want to accomplish in your career or out there in the world. And this is, again, for Cancerian reasons, such as, you know, to make your community a better place or to uh, build a family or to create a home base. And then this goes directly to that Saturn, which says, how do you get things done every day with all the other obligations that you have? And then to the Mars, which is other people's resources, uh, opportunities to gain power over things that are stopping you, as well as to gain maybe funds or expertise or something that helps you accomplish your goal. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Venus is making a nice sextile to Uranus. So there is an opportunity here if you take an action, some sort of synchronicity could happen, you could meet someone for a love relationship. So consider getting out there, uh, meeting new people during this two week period. And then when it comes to existing love relationships, Venus is making a sextile to Mars. So again, we have very strong energy that if you take an action, you can solve problems. If you take an action, you can strengthen your relationship. If you take an action, you can have a better time with your partner. 
Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Pluto, which is in that area of creativity and risk taking. It's going to be there until September, where it's going to drop back into your house of home and family. So we'll talk about that when it, it happens. But you also pull money from Mars, which is going through a money house for you now. And this is specifically about having your own business, having passive income sources, uh, getting royalties, residuals, but also investment income. And so this is where your action should be focused. And by taking action, that means, you know, starting out with the simple things like opening your statements, checking your website, you know, finding the different things that you can do or change to facilitate more money coming in. And so that's where your source of activity is. So when it comes to money derived from business or investments, uh, Venus is making a sextile to Mars. And so you have very strong energy for making more money over the next two weeks. Again, it's a sextile. So like we talked about in the opening, you need to take an action to get something rolling and then you have to take the next action and the next action. And as you continue to take actions, good things happen. And then when it comes to money from career, so that would be a paycheck, the sun's not making an aspect with Pluto, but it is making an, a sextile to Mars. So therefore you again have this opportunity to get something happening, but this time with just getting a paycheck. So talking to your supervisor, or if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a job, you have really good prospects right now. So this is a time to really push the resumes out there, go for the jobs that you really want to do. And you could have some really good opportunities over this next two weeks. Okay, Scorpio, this new moon is happening in your area of beliefs and uh, how, how you feel your personal philosophy is. And so this is very much about thinking how you believe the universe works. And if this is beneficial to you, then holding on to those beliefs. If they're not beneficial beliefs, then maybe challenging those beliefs. And as you hone that personal philosophy or you know, just become aware of it very consciously during this time, you're doing that trying to Saturn in that house of risk taking and creativity. And so then creative solutions can come to you, opportunities that you can create for yourself. And then this does a sextile to the Mars in your house of collaborations and partnerships that attracts the people who could help you, which then does that sextile back to the new moon. So that's the, the path that you're on. And so for the Saturn specifically, because it's in your area of risk taking and Saturn doesn't really want to take risks, but it will take calculated risks where you look and say, it's more practical for me to step out of my comfort zone than not. That's where you need to think about it as not like you're going to jump into the fray of something, but rather, you know, if you say to yourself, well, I'm not really comfortable speaking in front of others, but that's a really good skill to have. So therefore I'll get out of my comfort zone to work on that skill. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, there's still that out of sign, semi, um, out of sign sextile between Neptune and uh, Pluto, as well as you've got a lot of energy going on right now connected to your house of intimacy. And that would be that you could find someone who you have really good chemistry with, who you're physically attracted to, who's physically attracted to you. So this is a good time to be out there looking because you could find quite a match. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, while Venus is not making an aspect with Pluto, it is making that sextile to Mars. So you have an opportunity to work out something and make this relationship stronger. So, and that is that maybe you're having a discussion about what you want to do in the future or your ideas of, you know, child raising or how you communicate with the universe or something like that. And that leads to the two of you having good discussions and getting closer as a couple. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from Jupiter, which is in a money house right now. And it's going to stay there for, well, the rest of this year and half of next year. So you have quite a long period of time where you can access uh, money opportunities. 
but you don't want to become complacent because this is such a long transit it's easy to kind of fall into the habit of of this is just enough and it's okay so you want to activate that jupiter by exploring new opportunities and really thinking about you know just the world and how there could be money opportunities all around you now when it comes to money from business or from investments mercury is making a sextile to jupiter so just like we talked about in the opening the sextile means that you have to take an action and then something good happens and then you take the next action and something good happens and that's how you can make more money over this next two weeks in these areas is take actions now when it comes to money from uh, your career so that's like a paycheck that sextile is in effect but now mercury is right at the top of your chart so this is a very very good time to be looking for another job to uh, look for a new position within your company to really increase your pay because you are taking on new roles and new responsibilities so there is a really good chance of getting a raise if you take the action you have to initiate the action uh, but you could do that over this next two weeks okay Sagittarius this new moon is lighting up your area of power and control and so when it comes to what you can take care of and you know what you love and the family that you're trying to build it comes down to this question of do you have power and it is recognizing what you have power over what you have control over and what you don't and oftentimes we have a lot more power than we think you know we we might consider that you know the landlord or the boss has power over whether we stay in that house or that position but there are many houses and there are many positions and so in effect they don't have power they only have power over this particular circumstances now this is making the trying to saturn which is that at the base of your chart and so this is in your area of family and so some of this is that you could develop a plan with your family about how you could get more financial security or to help the family be more secure in general but it's coming together to make a plan and then that makes the sextile to mars in your house of daily routines so that is then once you have the plan how can you put that into the schedule and implement it on a regular basis which then leads to more power the sextile to the new moon now when it comes to love relationships specifically new love uh, Mars is not making an aspect with Jupiter however Jupiter is in your house of relationships as well as we have the Sun Moon and Venus in your house of intimacy so there is really some opportunity here what could happen with this is maybe the person isn't new maybe they are someone you met previously but didn't consider them for a love relationship or you went out with them once and you kind of lost track and now you're getting back together so there is an opportunity here to establish something new but the person themselves may not be new to you now when it comes to existing love relationships mercury is making a wonderful sextile to jupiter so there is this opportunity to come together and work something out and that can help strengthen the relationship get you both on the same page and so there's there's this energy that if you initiate the action then you could get a positive result then you do another action you get a positive result and so forth now when it comes to your money you're pulling money from Saturn which is making that trine to this new moon so there is a strong indication that it's time to start something new and that means to initiate it now you don't have to initiate something exactly on the new moon in fact sometimes it's best to wait until you can see the crescent moon in the sky and so that's usually a couple of days so because the the idea is that the new moon is planting the seed and we can't really see the seed that we have planted until it sprouts and so that idea is that you may have the ideas during the exact new moon and then a few days later then you can start to put that out into the world but as you do this could make you more money now when it comes to money from business or from investments the moon's making a trine to Saturn so you have real opportunities over this next two weeks to make more money than usual that starts by you initiating some sort of action and then everything will flow so figure out the action to take and then do that and then things can happen 
And then when it comes to money from career, so that's like a paycheck, Venus is making a trine to Saturn. So again, you have this wonderful trine energy and that is go start the conversation. If you run into some sort of block in this case, that could be a sign that it is time to leave this position or leave this job and move on to greener pastures. You have very good energy for finding a new job or changing your current job within your company. So you have really good energy now. So look at the signs, but if, if this is the job you're supposed to stay in, it is quite likely that you would have positive reaction when you ask for a raise over this next two weeks. Okay, Capricorn, this new moon is lighting up your area of relationships, partnerships, and collaborations. And so when we, we tie in the Cancer energy of you know, who is family, and that doesn't necessarily mean blood family, that is, that is whoever you are counting as close as family. And so this may be a time where you are looking at the people in your life and saying, you know, these people are like family and these people, I don't know them so, so well. And then this is all doing a trying to Saturn in your area of communication and thinking process. And so first, just starting to think about this, like these are the group of people that I consider family and then how do I love and protect them? And then the Saturn here then comes up with a plan, maybe for regular communication, maybe maybe you want to all buy houses next to each other or you want to fly out to see somebody. So this is where you're starting up the plan. And then the sextile to Mars in your area of creativity and risk taking is to take the risk to say, I care about you. And it is possible that the person will say, yeah, that's nice, but I don't care about you. I mean, that's always the risk in love. Or they say, that's fantastic. I care so much about you. Let's do something together. And again, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. This could be a business partnership. This could be a friendship. So, but it just feels close as family. And then the Mars makes the sextile to the new moon and then the loop is completed. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, Venus is making a trine to Saturn. So you have a great opportunity now to meet someone for a love relationship. Uh, you might meet this person through an acquaintance uh, or somebody fixes you up with someone. You could meet them through a matchmaker. So you do have some luck energy also appearing in your house of online dating. So there are multiple ways you could meet someone for romance. And then when it comes to existing love relationships, the moon's making a trine to Saturn. So you again have really good energy when it comes to relationships. And the trine means that you initiate something and then things flow. You might say, you know, let's do a date night. And then they plan it out and it's all perfect. And like, it just flows, but you, you just need to start the process, start the ball rolling and then things happen. Now, when it comes to your money, you pull money from Uranus as well as that Saturn, which we've been talking a lot about in this video. And that's because Saturn is making a trine to that new moon. And so there is so many opportunities right now. And you probably have thought about these. Maybe you are planning them. Now's the time to take the first step. And oftentimes the first step means going and asking someone if they'd be interested in your services or, you know, just putting up a very simple website or uh, posting on one of the social media sites that you are doing this, like make the offer and then see what happens. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus, but it is making that trying to Saturn. So again, this is such good energy for making more money over the next two weeks. It starts with you taking an action and then everything flows. That might mean a meeting with your financial advisor. That could mean a meeting with your business partner, but something that you initiate then starts to take off by itself. Now, when it comes to money from uh, your career, so that would be like a paycheck. Uh, I have to read these, there's so many aspects. So uh, Mars is making a sextile to Saturn, Mars is uh, making a conjunction to Uranus, and Uranus is making a trine to Pluto, even though it's an out of sign trine. So you have so many opportunities now, and this this is lined up in such a nice way that 
it is important that if you are looking for a raise or looking for a new job right now to really put some energy behind this because this is an opportunity for you to get what you're looking for but you do need to get that ball rolling you need to initiate the action and when you do then things really come together in a positive way Okay, Aquarius, this new moon is lighting up your area of health and well-being as well as day daily routines and work. So the health and well-being idea is that, you know, the, the thing that you're looking for or, you know, the family that you're trying to build or what you're trying to protect is the daily life that you have with these people. And so, and also, of course, loving and caring for yourself. And so the energy here is very much down to a, a mindfulness place of looking around and seeing the abundance that you have and then doing the plan for what's missing to pull that in. And that's where Saturn comes in. Now, Saturn is the trine from your house of money and resources. And so you have this opportunity then to set up a plan to say, you know, what would be better is if we had more time for regular walks or massages, or well, we want better health care, and that means we need to live in a different place or some things like that. And then that leads to the sextile to the Mars in your house of family. So that is, then you get together with the family and you start to implement this plan of, now we're gonna walk after dinner and, uh, you know, or we're gonna make dinner together or, you you know, things grow that way which then makes the sextile back to that new moon and that completes the loop now when it comes to uh, love relationships specifically new love mercury is not making an aspect to uranus however it is making a sesca quadrant to saturn so and you know at least it's an aspect but a sesca quadrant is not the easiest of aspect and it says that that Yes, you could win a new relationship. However, that may not be your, your priority right now. And so you have to be aware that if you are not able to give time or energy to a new relationship, then why work so hard to get one at this moment? This may be something where you just need to take a couple of weeks and work on something else and get ready for a new love relationship to create space for it. So, but it also says, because Sesca Quadra has an, a, a level of unpredictability, that someone could walk into your life and present themselves as, yes, I want to be in a love relationship with you. And then you have to, you know, run to the side and rearrange your schedule so that you can say yes. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, the sun's not making an aspect with Uranus, but it is making a trine to Saturn. So you have really good opportunity to work out things, to become closer together, to have a good time. You just need to initiate the action, start the ball rolling, and then things could come out very nicely. So you can come together and work on a project together or just have some fun, uh, but you have good energy over this next two weeks. Now, when it comes to your money, you pull money from Jupiter as well as that Neptune that just went retrograde. And so it's going to be staying in your house of money for a while longer. And the Neptune retrograde indicates that it's time to go back to a money project that you were doing before and give it a second look or give it some love and attention now because it's either more viable now or it just needs to be revived through your attention. So there's a money opportunity here or maybe several, but they are something from your past and you need to kind of dig those up and, and find them, dust them off and, and you know breathe new life into them. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, Mercury's making an out of sign trying to Neptune. So there is a great opportunity to gain something, but it's it's a little bit disconnected. And so it, it's like well, you might have to place an ad somewhere and then you get clients from somewhere else and they never saw the ad. But if you hadn't placed the ad, it, you wouldn't have got it. It's, it's like, like doing an acupuncture needle in the universe and it just vibrates out, but you don't really see how that's connected to what you're getting back, but it's because of the vibrations that it did. So I know that sounds a little esoteric, but the, the idea is to go and take some sort of action and then the results come from some other unrelated or seemingly unrelated source. 
when it comes to money from your career, so that's like a paycheck, Jupiter is no longer in orb of the Neptune. However, Neptune is still in Pisces and Pisces is co-ruled by Jupiter. So you have a hidden connection between these two planets and that's what you want to capitalize on, which means that approaching your supervisor in a very direct manner may not work, but you could be subtle about it. And that is to, you know, ask like, oh, I don't know, how, how about... Uh, what could I do to increase my visibility in my job or what new projects can I take on that would signal that I'm on a good track? You know, being subtle right now, I think, is what's going to bring you some opportunities. Okay, Pisces, uh, you are doing this new moon in your area of creativity, risk-taking, and children. And so if you have kids, of course, this Cancerian energy is about how to love and protect them. This could be also protecting your creative projects or your creative community. And this makes a trine to Saturn in Pisces in your own sign. And so that the energy is that how can you feel safe in the world? And then from that place of safety, then you can be loving and protective of what you love. And so this is coming up with a plan where you feel more secure, where you feel like that if, even if the world is fearful, that you are strong and you're strong because you do the effort that it takes to be strong, which, you know, could be physical exercise or mental exercises or spiritual exercises. Now, this makes a sextile to Mars in this area of thinking process, writing, teaching, as well as activities in general. And so the sextile energy, therefore, is that you might say, all right, I would feel stronger and safer if maybe I did a daily meditation and a little bit of exercise. Then the sextile to Mars is how you implement that. And then it makes the sextile to the new moon energy and then everyone in your loving circle benefits. Now, when it comes to love relationships, specifically new love, the moon's not making an aspect with Neptune. It's making a semi-sextile to Jupiter, but the new moon is in that house. So you do have a really strong opportunity to meet someone for a love relationship. I think the semi-sextile energy it, is providing a little bit of friction of getting out of the house. I think that's the biggest problem here is maybe you're meeting someone, maybe you're talking online, but you have to actually meet in person. And so when your two souls come together, that's when the real connection happens. So it is uh, necessary for you to get out of the house and there is a little bit of friction. So you're going to have to well, the easiest way to get past the semi-sextile friction energy is just to identify it. If you say, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, that usually works. Now, when it comes to existing love relationships, it's an entirely different story. Mercury is making an out of sign trine to Neptune. So you have some great energy here for coming together and being happy, you know, doing fun things together. It starts by you initiating the action, but after that, they they pick up the ball and they keep the game going. So uh, you have some really good energy for love relationships over this next two weeks. Now, when it comes to your money, you're pulling money from that Mars, which is doing the sextile both to the new moon as well as that Saturn. So this is stick to the plan. That is, it's so easy to get distracted these days and there are so many just wonderful distractions out there. And, but if you want to do something that's important, that's big, you do need to focus on your priorities. And remember, from the beginning, we said that you set your priorities, but that does mean that there's going to be some sacrifices. And so the sacrifices are that some of the distractions you don't get to do. So this is the most effective thing that you can do right now to make more money is to stick with your priorities, stick with the actual actions that lead to the results you want. Now, when it comes to money from business or from investments, Mars is making a sextile to Venus. So you have opportunities to make more money over the next two weeks. Of course, as we talked about in the opening, a sextile is predicated on the uh, fact that you have to take some sort of action. If you take action, then something good happens. Then you take another action, and then another good thing happens and so forth. But you have to be actively working on it throughout the process. 
And then when it comes to money derived from career, so that would be a paycheck, Mars is making a sextile to Saturn. So you have an opportunity to get more money from your job. And that could be through a raise or a bonus or some other perk. And so, but again, this is a sextile. So you have to initiate the action, you know, maybe to set up the meeting and then you have to bring the topic and then you have to, uh, whatever uh, objections they might have, you have to counter those objections. And all of this you can do because it's a sextile. So it's well within your capabilities. And even if you think, looking at it, you think, oh, I don't know if I wanna do it. Once you get into it, you're actually going to find that the energy is quite pleasant. So this is the energy you're doing for the next two weeks. And that's it. If you're interested in getting a reading, there is a link in the description that will take you to my website where you will see the different types of readings that I do, the prices. Once you uh, set up the appointment, I'll send you a questionnaire uh, where I ask you for your information, your birth information, your questions and things like that. For the reading itself, it is a Zoom conference, so it is live and we get to chat together and you get a recording of the session. So uh, if you're interested, the link is in the description and I will see you in the next video.